This is The Misfit. A plucky teenager with a troubled childhood. From abandonment to injury and rejection. He's not only survived, he's thrived. But the next 48 hours will be the most dangerous yet. He must venture into enemy territory and face Africa's fiercest predators. The misfit battles to feed his pride. Then, finally, comes of age. Family is everything for lions. A pride lives and dies by its strength in numbers. The Ensefu pride is no different. The bonds they share have meant they've prospered and dominated here on the banks of the Luangwa River in Zambia. The determined mothers and aunts who lead this family have battled to keep their youngsters safe. But life hasn't been easy for their youngest member, teenager, the misfit. As the runt of the litter, the misfit struggled to fit into his boisterous family. Always last, always bullied. His isolation led to near death. Finally, he won the hearts of his pride and formed a bond with his older half-brother. A bond that has gone from strength to strength. While females stay in their pride for life, all male lions must eventually leave their family by around three years old. That time has almost come for the misfit and his brother. They'll split from the pride in a few months with each other for support. They'll roam the savannah for several years until big enough to take over a pride and father cubs. The bachelor years as nomads will be tough. And if the misfit is to survive, he needs to perfect his hunting skills now. The teenager faces a huge learning curve. not least because the family has hit hard times. The Pride's former leaders, two brothers, have gone. Chief, the more dominant of the two, was killed. And Notch was driven out by roaming males. Without their leaders, the Pride fragmented leaving just six females and three teenagers to fend for themselves. And now the prey in their territory on the east bank of the river has scattered due to recent unseasonal rains. The pride hasn't eaten for days. They face a tough decision to leave the familiar territory they know in search of food. 
or stay here and potentially starve. Across the river could be the key to their salvation. South Luangwa National Park is three and a half thousand square miles of wilderness at the tail of the Great Rift Valley. Home to Africa's most iconic wildlife. From the heaviest mammal on land to the strongest jaws in Africa. The battle to survive here is intense. Lions may be top of the food chain, but even they are sometimes vulnerable from protective giants and from their own kind. The river is the barrier to the misfit's future success. On the opposite west bank, Prey is plentiful, but it's enemy territory, controlled by three battle-hardened brothers. The punks. They'd attack any young male lion that's not of their own lineage. So the misfit and other young members of the Ensefu pride would be in mortal danger. But hunger has made the decision for them. They'll have to run the gauntlet of one of Africa's most indiscriminate killers. The Nile Crocodile. Up to 2,000 pounds with a bite strength greater than any living creature in Africa. Their jaws contain sensory organs that detect movement in the water. They've evolved to efficiently slay anything that strays into their path. A young lion like the misfit is an easy target. The misfit's mother leads the tentative group. They quickly attract attention. but they managed to cross without incident. The safety of the opposite bank gives short-lived relief. The roar echoing along the river means that big male lions are on the prowl. The punks are surveying their territory. A lion's roar can be louder than a jackhammer. Mohawk, the toughest of the brothers, uses it to advertise his formidable presence 
and to intimidate rivals. These brothers have ruled the west bank of the river for the last two years, taking over two prides in the area as they've established their territory. They're fearless. The Ansefu pride, now also on the west bank, is right to look nervous. The misfit sticks close to his bigger brother. Now in enemy territory, they need to make a kill and get out again before the punks find them. 